Welcome back. Game number one went in favor of Fnatic. Game number two, can upcoming stars come back is the real question here. They looked really good in that game one. Yeah. Fell a little short. Yeah, I think if there was any ever a time where they were going to do it, Scott, I think today would be it. They just played really, really well, and sometimes, as I said, the star power is just too much. Maniac and Reels just took off. Yeah, re really the, the fire giant steal, mm -hmm. plus that entire 3v5 fire giant fight, yeah. really shows why Fnatic is really <laughs> good. But let's go ahead and take a look at the solo lane matchup here, which is going to be Sausage versus Maniac. Maniac last game went 5-0-5. Oh, and five, oh, and five. Sausage didn't have the best game, but every time we talk about upcoming stars, it's always Sausage. Yeah, I mean, Sausage has been, not only has he been a player in the smite scene for a very, very long time, he's been one of the top known players. Uh, just really hasn't decided to play on the pro teams, going all the way back to teams with Sprayon and Restarian, which are, you know, sort of like old school, old school names. Yep. Sausage has been around sort of on that cusp, and this is the first time he decided to really dive in and here he is doing what he can yeah for sure well let's go ahead and hop into the picks and bands here and jump right into game number two start to see what fanatic will draft do you think we'll see hercules in the duo lane again coming out of upcoming stars yes i think that they're honestly if i'm upcoming stars and fanatic doesn't do anything to stop it scott i do exactly what i did last time uh i definitely want to have her uh, on her on my side because it just sort of wins you the hunter lane all right, I, I, I'm going to cut you off real Shoot. quick, and I'm going to ask you a question. How come Upcoming Stars loses game number one? Got it. Fnatic chooses order side. How come Fnatic, or how come Upcoming Stars doesn't he like to take order side? Um, how, how come we're seeing that? It, it's probably just a difference of opinion. They want, they tried one thing, and they, they saw that they did all the right things, and they just want to switch it around to the other side, see if they can grab a different strategy or a different look at it maybe. Honestly, I think they just want to shake things up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's the same sides, which I'm asking. Oh, sorry, I'm talking to Brad right now. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Brad, Brad's just confused. Brad, pay attention. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Sylvanas, Unbad, Skit, Band out there, as well as Arachne and Thor. Yeah, Arachne and over Thor, again, I, I'm, I just got to give a round of applause. If you're just joining us for game number two, same bands as game number one. Arachne and Thor were used by upcoming stars against Fnatic because prior to that, Prior to game number one, where we saw Twig forced into Sirket, Twig has yet to play anything besides Arachne and Thor, and they're going to pick Sirket. So, they're definitely, or upcoming stars, is definitely targeting Captain Twig, and that's why they went the way they did. Which, I, it kind of worked out for him last game. I mean, it did. He, he, he did okay on Sirket. It wasn't anything bad it, or anything. No, I mean, it, it, yeah. it definitely did... Uh, it was a late game circuit, sort of like have to, what you have to do with circuit. But what we see at a Captain Twig usually with Thor and Arachne are early game setups or early game kills or both, and completely took that out of the equation by forcing him onto circuit. Shablanke gets picked up again for reels. He is a monster on this god. It just fits his playstyle perfectly. Reels, he he can be super aggressive mm -hmm. if he really wants to. But really, he has no problem sitting back, letting his team do everything, exactly. and then all of a sudden, oh, I get to come in for the cleanup. I'm Shablanka, it's perfect. Yeah, he's, he's the street sweeper for sure. And if they go Vulcan again, um, which Zeros loves Vulcan. I mean, br Scott, when Zeros was playing in the jungle, he brought Vulcan into the jungle. I know, I know, dude. I <laughs> and, and I remember casting that match, maybe with Kret, maybe with Bart, and just as a caster, when you see something bad, which Vulcan jungle is bad, you can't say it's bad you have to say oh th this is sort of the thought process yeah, yeah, yeah we spent 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell he was thinking <laughs> and we asked him after and reels was like oh you know ah. zeros just likes to play vulcan yeah <laughs> so athena and hercules picked up for fanatic so hercules finally receiving his first loss in the spl mm -hmm. last game now fanatic's gonna pick him up this will not be a duo lane hercules this will 100 yes. be a solo lane hercules going to maniac Athena will still stay on Badger. Maniac's Hercules is very strong. And I mean, sure, that's that's like saying, you know, anything is strong. Hercules says prior to last yeah. game was 100% win rate. But Maniac's ability to, again, I will always harp on this when it comes to Hercules, separating Driving Strike and Earthbreaker. It's always it's almost always used as a, as a full combo, Scott. You know, flip them over and push them forward. When you can separate those two and use them separately, yeah. that's really when you get to see the stars. Speaking of stars, stars go ahead and lock in Scylla. Scylla doesn't have the best clear early on, but throughout the game, she can change 
the way of a team fight instantly. Yeah. I am a monster at level one with no stats at all. We'll give her 400 damage. So she is a monster, mm -hmm. pun intended, <laughs> uh, throughout the entire game. But uh, really here is Poseidon's going to go ahead and get locked in for Fnatic as well. Ooh. Uh, the combo of Poseidon and Athena is going to give them very strong early harpy control. Upcoming star has to answer this. And this is sort of, as we see the Nemesis being picked up on Fnatic hmm. uh, for, for Captain Twig this time around. Um, Shibalanki and Poseidon have this have a similar relationship to Shibalanki and Vulcan, which I absolutely loved and did not get to touch upon last game. Kraken will happen in darkness now. Yeah. So it's not it w the big downside to Kraken and Vulcan's ultimate, as we see Geb picked up by the upcoming stars, is that they're so easily telegraphed. If you're not yeah. Vulcan ulting from the jungle, dude, I see you in front of me. I see the giant animation. I'm gonna get Kraken. I'm gonna yeah. get ultimated. But with Shibalanki. He turns the lights out. Well, where it's all of a sudden I'm crackened. That's the beauty of it. So you'll have the Athena taunt to set it up, but you'll also have the Shibalanki to, for the surprise factor. Very cool stuff. Yeah. Well, taking a look at zeros here on Poseidon. Is he clapping? Yeah. He's just he he <laughs> just he's just applauding the entire team. He's like, hey guys. He's waving. He's like, hey man. By the way, I'm Poseidon. I'm really fun to play. Uh, starting off with the lost artifact here. This could be turned into a do more very early on, which. It's pretty much what we're seeing out of a lot of mids these days. It's just so incredibly cheap. It was worth it when it was 1900. Now I believe it's down to 1750, Scott. And it was starting out with that, with the first point, oh. with the first part. You don't really need that no, much. No, he's not. Doom Orb just becomes an incredible amount of power. Oh, Maniac's playing the best skin ever. Oh, that Hercules skin, so good. Look at him. He's wielding a chair. Like you got to get behind that, man. That that just like hits. 1996, I'm thinking Stone Cold Steve Austin wielding a chair. WrestleMania. Yeah. Tonight. Is it tonight? I honestly only know because of social media. Oh, my So God. I might be wrong. But Sting, not the Desert Rose singer, the guy that paints his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes down from the rafters. Yeah, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be, uh, what are they, wrestling, I guess they call it? Yeah. yeah he's yeah. going to be, he's awesome. going to be WWEing. That's what we need. We need to bring Maniac down from the rafters at the next land. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just like with a Portuguese flag. <laughs> let him coast down like Meta Knight. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> hand of the Gods being used up here. Sausage having a Hand of the Gods as well. So they're going to have a pretty fast clear and get into lane relatively quick. On the opposite side, though, Hercules will be paired up with Captain Twig, mm -hmm. both using Hand of the Gods as well. So it should be an even matchup here as we get into it. But let's talk a little bit on Tyr and Hercules. Hercules has Mitigate Wounds. He's very lethal early on. Tyr, well, he, he's pretty much good throughout the entire time. He just doesn't really have kill potential. Tyr and Hercules are extremely similar, Scott. They both bring to the table a, a lot of displacement. Uh, Tyr will push you forward with Fearless and... You get driving struck by Hercules for the displacement. Hercules has additional displacement, and then they both have a heal. They are extremely similar. The damage output from Hercules with the boulder, the burst potential probably a little bit more, but the control potential for Tyr a little bit more on the side of that. So look for Hercules to try to fight early one-on-one, -on -one, and look for Tyr to really try to involve his teammates with that control. Wow. Cheerio with an extremely fast rotation. Comes in, leeches off the mid-harps, or uh, mid mid lane and then goes ahead and steals the back harps here with hand of the gods and now he's going to be just that far ahead mm -hmm. so now he'll just kind of rotate through but it's important to note that captain twig is doing the exact same thing it was just much later so yeah he didn't get to leech off the experience in mid lane but he got that same experience from the solo lane so you're seeing two differences between those two but look at nemesis actually going into the back harps now again Hog going to be down for the jungler as well. Caught out a little bit, but should be inconsequential. Actually going to turn around, slice the dice on top of the crush. That one's not going to go the way that Nemesis really wanted. Sir Cat, however, secures the back harpies. Yeah, they, they they have no idea where Sir Cat is. Sir Cat's actually going to be coming from behind, and instead of going for it, mainly because, well, she doesn't want to get killed by creeps. This early on, creeps do so much damage. It's quite infuriating. It, they, they really do a lot of damage, and, and that's why we see actually uh, sometimes solo laners, uh, mm. physical solo laners, will build Mark of the Vanguard. Uh, yeah. will, will actually stop that creep aggression because, as we see, this fight was completely turned around by bad guys that aren't players. Yeah. <laughs> Artificial intelligence, man. It's scary it's stuff. It's you the see, they have a, a self driving car. Ultimate on the Get out of here. Oh, they almost barely missing. 
Barely missing the snare coming out of Scylla there. That would have been kill potential. Unfortunately, Frosty isn't level 5 just yet. Captain Twig is level 5, though. Zero is level 4. He should be hitting it relatively soon. And go ahead and taking a look here at Cheerio. He's five seconds early here. The Mez is going to hit. That's oh. going to force Captain Twig out. Harpies come up. Scylla comes in as well. There's the crush waiting for the follow-up. Do they have it? They missed. Captain Twig still alive somehow. Shablaka Ultimate Maniacs here as well. Driving strike misses. Boulder's going to hit. Athena comes in. There's going to be the first kill going to zeros. Geb going to get taunted back in. Kraken's going to do a lot. And just like that, a spot where upcoming stars was in the driver's seat. Now they find themselves down 2-0. to zero. Both Harpies going to Fnatic. This is what we saw the entirety of game one. I'll hold the analysis for a second because it looks like a good gank coming out from Hercules, but maybe that's going to play it safe instead. There's the push oh, out no. of the tower. You made the wrong fearless right there, my friend. Power Cleave should heal him up no problem, but oh, man. A lot of potential right there, Scott. But, right. And sort of what we saw all game one. Upcoming stars doing pretty much what they're supposed to do. They boxed out the players, getting to mid harpies, and then... Lights turn out, surprise Athena taunt into ultimates, just spectacular team play from Fnatic. So upcoming stars are doing everything the textbook says, but Fnatic have learned the rules and are ready to break them. Maniac choosing to not worry about the protections for now. He goes teleport and gets level 2 boots. So he won't have the protections to deal with Sausage, but as soon as he finishes the boots out, he'll have that nice little power spike. Helping him out in the lane just a little bit more. Taking a look at the mid lane, though. Shoes of the Magi have been finished here on zeros. That means Krakens from this point on are going to hurt very badly. So I'm expecting to see very early Aegis's coming out of upcoming stars if if we see zeros keep these rotations up. And I love this thought process, Scott. I love to see players change their thi change what they do per god or rather per situation. The first game, Zeros was playing Vulcan, went the CDR boots because as we said, wanted a couple more uh, number ones as Hercules wow. gets a solo kill and you actually see a kill what? in the middle lane by Poseidon. Wait. He's gonna get aggressed on by some Ket. Should be fine with that movement speed passive. Not if the rest of the team is here. Athena's gonna ult him to save oh. him, but the last breath will take him out. Don't forget folks, that's true damage. So the mitigation provided by Athena did not do anything. Yep, Nemesis now slowly going to be rotating over here. They got about a minute until these mid harpies come up as well. So, Captain Twig, yeah, he's a little bit late. Hercules has the mm -hmm. tower down to about half health, which as soon as he gets that done, well, Captain Twig, Geb's shield going to be forced out as well. Um, as soon as he gets that tower down, that's going to free him up a lot. He yeah. can then choose to rotate all around the map and not have to worry about it because he's not going to lose too much gold. And he zooms. Poseidon zooms. Yeah. Can you believe that he used to be faster? I didn't know that, actually. He used to be, his, <laughs> his passive used to be faster. <laughs> and Fantastic. he would just zoom around. And I mean, uh, it was, it's hilarious. And he's still incredibly fast. But going back to these shoes of the Magi pickup, on Vulcan, he wanted more backfires because that's pretty much the only way to stay safe. As you mentioned, also extra magma bombs. Poseidon doesn't really need extra anything. It's all about this burst. So different mentalities on the characters, different mentalities in the builds. Absolutely love it. Stone Shield's going to be down, though. Upcoming Stars should be able to take the left Harpies. Sausage now going to be over on the right side. Is he going to be able to get this? Power Cleave's going to hit. And I'm, well, nope. not sure. Nope. No dice. Mid-camps nope. taking the walk. Yep. Now we're going to see a little bit of a 3v3 standoff here in the mid. Waiting to see what's going to happen here. Maniac gets pulled as well. Haven't mentioned Reels' name once. He's got three assists, though. Pretty standard. Yeah. Um, four to one right now as we're about just over six and a half minutes. That was just a second round of mid harpy camps, and you're right, we haven't said Reels' name, but that's pretty much standard yeah, I know. For, for Fnatic. The, the Reels is a cleanup man, and that's just that's the identity of what he does. I, I I love it, but right here, upcoming stars has to realize that, especially playing on her, and they have to abuse that. They have to say, hey, Reels doesn't want to fight this early. Let's let's put him where he's uncomfortable because he's comfortable everywhere else. The ult comes down as well. Captain Twig going to inch up a bit. Was thinking about going in for a slice and dice. Not going to be the case. Right side, though. Sausage going to get taunted. Maniac Ooh. barely missing the driving strike. It has to be on Badger to get this kill. Badger charges it up, is able to secure it. Badger. He's now 2 0 oh, 1. He's all over the place. Most importantly, though, Gold Fury has been started up. Captain Twig could be in a lot of trouble here. Cheerio. 
He's forced out as well. Now Reels is going to continue to go. He wants this kill. He needs this kill for his passive. No, Gold Fury is going to be taken as well. And is he able to get it? He isn't. That was a gr that was. I don't mean to sound so surprised, unfortunately, but that was a brilliant play from upcoming yeah. stars, the red team. What they did was they aggressed the Gold Fury almost secretively, and, and they put a, in a fight in the left-hand lane that made it look like they weren't even going for the Gold Fury. So Fnatic had eyes on that fight, and even if they knew that Gold Fury was being taken, which they probably did halfway through it, there was no avenue. There was no exit ramp onto the Gold Fury. They had no way to get there because of the spacing and control of the map that Upcoming Stars had. Excellent, excellent play coming out from the red team. Yeah. The, the, the big thing in that entire scenario, though, too, was that they saw Athena was in the solo lane. Yeah. So they were like, yep. well, they have no hand three. I don't think anyone can steal this from us. And again, <laughs> Scott, remember last match we said that gank that they had that Fnatic turned around for a triple kill as we see a beautiful combo coming out from, Ma from uh, not Maniac, <laughs> Sausage. We said, next time you do that, make sure the Athena ults on cooldown. That's yeah. exactly what they did, Scott. Yeah, they they did. made sure Athena was on cooldown, could not rotate, and they took the Gold Fury for free. Blue buff's going to be taken here. We're going to see Captain Twig move it up just a bit. Could see the gank happen here as well. They have the ability. Slice and Dice is going to hit Madness as well. Shield's going to be forced out here. Look at it just. Mm -hmm. Sir Ket is just, not only is she so mobile. Well, hold that thought here. As Zeros is going to be here as well. Drops a Whirlpool. Waiting to see what will come of this. Captain Twig dodges Frosty's snare as well. Shablanke ultimate comes down. Left side Love lane. It. Now will Badger barely misses that dash as well. Almost got himself his third kill of the game. Badger is, you know, it's actually very interesting, Scott, for the first season, I said Maniac was probably my, uh, we don't have these superlatives, but for me yeah. personally, Maniac was probably my most improved player of the game. I agree. Uh, definitely the, the God Pool, everything we mentioned earlier, just the God Pool expansion, etc. Season two, I might look at Badger. Fnatic just puts in the oh, work man, and yeah. gets better and better and better individually because they have the team. No way. They have it down. No way. Barely missing Cheerio here. Power Cleave is going to hit. They're going to turn this, though. Oh, they should. Oh, that's a taunt. Maniac waiting for it. Look at Sausage. He's weak. Zeros on your mini-map as well. This is the one you want to watch. Waiting for it. Seeing if there's going to be a taunt. Not going to happen. Zeros mm. isn't able to get the kill. Little he wanted guy. Badger to just get it. I'm a monster. is going to be forced out, though, just for movement speed alone. So that's going to be a huge win for them. I think that's a misplay on Zeros' part, Scott. I think that a Kraken could have come out and got the kill. I under I completely understand. Basically what happened was Zeros wanted to absolutely make sure that they weren't able to get out of the Kraken, maybe have some help from Badger, but unable to secure it. So a little gun shy, understandably so, but I definitely think there was kill potential in that solo lane. Yep. Looking at it, Hercules actually changing up his build. He got Mace, and then he just goes, well... I really need Smithy's Hammer. Yeah. So he grabs Smithy's Hammer for some protections there. That's going to be turned into a Runeforge. So putting Jotun's on hold for just a little bit. Runeforge Hammer, so, so incredibly good. Uh, one, of the more, uh, one, of, one of the more valuable items for the gold. So just about 2,000, 2050, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just able to provide so much defense and offense. Really well-balanced item. Works perfectly in the hands of either Tyr or Hercules. Well, Sir Cat looking for a gank here on the duo lane. Wasn't able to find anything, though, so Reels and Badger will stay safe. We're going to see on her go back on her, starting off with this short bow. That'll be turned into an Ichabal very, very soon. Now, sp speaking of Hunter builds here, uh, Ally, Ally told me that Odysseus bow, sixth item, is the, is the dream. Okay. You like it? Uh, don't li like it? I like it if you don't build attack speed boots. Okay. Basically, Odysseus' bow, 40% uh, 40 attack speed is a lot. You're not going to overcap with the attack speed boots, but you need the power to support the Odysseus' bow. It's similar to Fatalis in that sense, where it has zero physical power on it, Scott. Yep. All it has is the attack speed. So you need the additional power somewhere else to really amplify that, that attack speed. Well, Maniac sees the Sir Cat come Ooh. in. That's going to be big. The boulder's going to hit as well. Here comes the Shablanke Ultimate Sausage, now forced to stop, taking Look some minion power. damage. There is no gank potential here, though. Scott. Scott, look at the power of Reels' ultimate. I it know, does man. zero damage, zero crowd control, zero anything, right? But because that ultimate came out, you know what it does? For all the zeros I just gave out, it gives 100% uncertainty. That ultimate comes out, they're forced out of the tower because they don't. The, the upcoming stars doesn't know if they're going to get counter-ganked by two, three, four... 
or zero yeah. like they just did. Nobody came and counter ganked, yeah, but that ultimate made them think that they might be counter ganked, so they had to retreat. Yeah, that's a that's a very very important part too. Of I that love as it. Well, so it's all it really mind comes games. down to the mind game. Yeah, mind exactly. games. Uh, speaking of mind games, Irons now through the pillar up. He's going to get taunted in. Kraken's going to come down. Ooh. Frosty forced out. Captain Twigs on Frosty. Frosty's going to be taken out. In comes Cheerio. Last breath down. Athena's going to ultimate onto Reels. Reels wants the help. The dash isn't going to be there. Whirlpool, though, onto Geb. And now Irons will be taken out by Badger, who's now 3 0. Power Cleave will hit. Juggle's going to be good. Geb's going to be forced to do that. Oh, Sausage barely dodging the knock up there for Maniac. Now they will be able to shove this. This will reward them with the Gold Fury as well. They take out three. They lose none. That's a win. You know, there's a lot that Athena th brings to the table on the surface. Athena brings an ultimate that allows her to rotate over. Good taunt into the damage. Don't know if they're going to get a kill. Now they want the That's kill. Body block, though. There's the Viva Pinata. And yep. Viva Hooray. No, 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 Sausage. Get out, buddy. Get out, buddy. Y'all don't want to get wiped here. This will be too big of a swing. Waiting on the taunt to come up. It's up in one second. They don't need it. Zeros clearings them up. Gold Fury still has yet to be started up. They go, well, I guess we killed Gab. We can go back and buy now. <laughs> so Athena, on the surface, brings a global ultimate, right? Yeah. Let's you save your teammates. But but deeper down, that the, the damage from the from the dash, the taunt, obvious setup. Shield wall does a lot of damage. You take a oh, look yeah. at the slash line for Badger. What is that? Three kills now? Yeah, he's three zero oh, and four. Three zero oh, and four for the support player from Fnatic, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up a little bit of dirty laundry here. A long time ago, Badger, back when they were SK, tweeted out, you know, man, I hate that my team plays so irresponsibly. I'm forced into playing Athena to help them out. I think he's singing a different tune this year, uh, Scott. Yeah. The the amount that he's able to do by himself with the Athena is incredible. So hopefully he's changed his tune right there because 3 0 and 5 is definitely looking good individually. Oh, baby. Kraken comes down to burn this one as well. Frosty's going to get out. Cheerio all the way on the back end. I'm a monster, barely going to miss the target. Their ultimate comes down. They're going to change it up. They're on Q and still going forward his reels. He goes, okay, gas pedal there boys. Is. Looking for the one on one. Desert Fury's not going to help him. Oh, he gets hit and he does. And now he will be taken <laughs> out by Sausage as well. Sausage now still looking around for the enemies. He's trying to find the nemesis. He knew one other person was weak, isn't able to find her. Uncharacteristic for Reels X to go ahead and miss four, three or four basic attacks in a yeah. row, which is why Tyr was able to get that kill. Yeah, he he was he was looking for that. Uh, he was looking for the life steal off of it, but he yep. just couldn't. He just couldn't hit it. It's, it's a tough angle, man. Desert Fury, when you see it, it's it's really. It almost like shocks you for a bit. You're like, oh god, I might die. You, have, you never know how much damage it's going to do. It's so much damage. It's eight spears right there, each doing a, a large amount of damage. And you can dodge some of it, but what the good on hers do, Scott, is rather than use the mouse to go ahead and aim it, they'll just sidestep because you're moving at the same speed as they are with the sidestep. Body so strafe. Exactly. As, as you're trying to outstrafe him, the, the good on hers, as we saw a little bit out of Irens, will just strafe right alongside you. Wow. Divine Judgment comes down from Captain Twig. He, he's in between four members of upcoming stars. Chablake ultimate hits. Whirlpool will be there. Maniac trying to body block. Isn't able to do so. Really, Fnatic was, was not in a place to do anything there. And Reels tried to bail him out. Captain Twig is going to be taken out. And speaking of Reels, Reels force all the way out. Madness will happen. And now Gap Blink comes in. That's big. Kraken's going to hit as well, though. Sausage is going to get turned around. Frosty missing the I am a monster. Zeros gets one. Ren's still alive, getting chased by, again by the Desert Fury that goes through the wall and helps him out. Badger is now 4-0, still looking for Q in there. Will he be 5-0? This is the story for me. Support player, the best player right now. <laughs> he's going to get it. He's, he's going to go for it. Badger in the it. front line looking for oh. it. It will go the way of Zeros. He's 4-0-8, uh, man. Badger doing his best incontinentia impression over <laughs> here. Four kills to him. Yeah, you know, taking a look at the Shibalagi who should have the kills. Real slash line, definitely not what he wants it to do. Oh, Real, Reels doesn't care at this point. <laughs> He's just like, well, you know, we're up by a good amount here. We're going to get this Gold Fury. And, and looking at it, I mean, Maniac, you know, the the big boulders, the big pinatas yeah. is what you guys are seeing. The big plays out of Hercules have been very, very good. Looking at the player damage, he leads the charge. He's also 4-0-9. So he has one more assist than Athena.
Uh, he's got Runeforge done. Next will be next thing that will be built is going to be the Jotuns. And then from there, he has a couple options. Yeah, the Jotun's definitely where he wants to go. Not only getting him a bunch of penetration, but the 25% off of the cooldown is basically... What does Hercules do, Scott? Lives. Mitigates damage. Does a lot of damage. Knock people up. Sets up for his team. Exactly. And all <laughs> those things don't really have anything to do with damage or anything. It's all about cooldowns. Mitigate wounds up more often and yep. moving people around up more often. Oh, the pinata barely gonna be <laughs> off the target there. Sausage is gonna get hit by a crack and half his health gone. Lawbringer, he's gonna get right into a driving strike. The follow-up's gonna be there waiting for the trident to hit as well. Athena's gonna get juggled. He's waiting on his teammates. Frosty comes in, misses the crush. They're now gonna turn on to Frosty. Monster. I am a monster is gonna be here as well. Frosty's gonna be taken down. Now looking at Geb. Geb could be in a lot of trouble here. Blink is not up. They need to just hit him a couple times. He's just delaying. The jukes are real. I'm not sure what Sir Kent's plan is here, but she joins the action. And now Fnatic is going to be stuck as now Irons comes. Desert Fury is going to be there as well. Cheerio's still able to get a kill somehow. He jumped into four people, and somehow he's alive. That's the Sir Kent action right there. Fight's going to keep going on. This time around is going to go Fnatic. Upcoming stars came in one by one. Not going to work out for them. They got one kill because of it off of that Sir Kent. Geb was able to get away. So all told, not a horrible loss for upcoming stars. But Geb eventually did die at the end of it. Kewin just caught out just a little bit. So unfortunately for upcoming stars, not able to come up on the top of things. Fnatic barking down this right side tower. Oof. Scary moment there for reals as he sees Sausage kind of run in. Yep. You can kind of see, though, the branching bolas alone is just just ticking away at tier. They're going to be able to take this tier one tower here, taking a look at the charge. 87 XP difference, 4,100 gold difference here. Uh, the big story, though, is definitely the experience. Tells the much bigger picture oh, of this yeah. match. Yeah, the experience just a giant, giant mark up. And taking a look at the gods that Fnatic has on their side, you know, Reel's definitely going to get more powerful with the experience. Gold is going to help him out a little bit more. But Captain Twig, Zeros, and Badger are really the characters that you want to see level up. That as, as you get the levels on that Athena, Taunt will start to last for a very, very long time to where it starts to set things up incredibly. The ultimates coming out from Captain Twig will be very strong. Or, or uh, I meant Zeros, but Captain Twig is who I'm Woo! actually thinking about. When that ultimate reaches level 4 or level 5, the top level, Scott. Get 50% out of here. Wow. Shred. They're still going on at the dash, following up as well. Nemesis looking for it. One more ability will be able to take him out. Slice and dice waiting for it. Pops the beads to hit their cooldown. Theta comes in oh. as well. Now Cheerio forced out of this one here. Nice Maniac's going to get hit by the crush. Wow. So uh, so is at that point where she just can lock anyone up and just destroy them. Yep. And that, that's sort of like Hercules' uh, situation right now. Zero magical protection outside of the stuff that's baked into him by himself. Uh, you, you know, just the, what you get for leveling up. Yeah. And so outside of that, I think he's got about 47. Outside of that, it's it's all physical protection or nothing at all. Yeah. So a little squishy. Not a word that we're used to hearing for Hercules, but <laughs> not building too protective. Yeah. And Ouch. driving strike's going to hit her right into the tower. The stun's going to follow up. And now he's just got to look at mitigate see, wounds, man. See, that's the opposite. We just talked about how squishy he was, but the upside oh, is no. he Cheerio can do buddy. that. Oh, <laughs> Cheerio. Cheerio Forest. Dash is going to be there as well. Maniac's going to be able to take him up with the knockup. Left side, though. Reels still pushing forward. Reels gas battle. Down he goes. Sprint three. It's the dream. That's the story for Natty, Scott. Solo kill on the left. Solo kill on the right. Just doing it while there's a team fight going on in the middle. That's what they look for every time. If you leave Reels alone, he'll fight you. And if you leave Maniac alone, he'll fight you. Wow. But a beautiful double Fearless coming out from the solo laner for upcoming stars. Going to look nice, but no follow-up for Sausage's push. So that's going to be that for upcoming stars. Left-hand tower, take it out. Duo lane won exclusively by Reels X. Going to go ahead and grab that for his coffers. Three kills on that Shibalaki, so an additional 15 damage because of that passive. But he wants to see a little bit more, so he's going to pick up that tower for gold. Yep, Reels now going to go ahead and back. He saw him on the ward. Tier crossed over that one. Zero is now going to go ahead and strafe around here. He spots a Qin as well as a Cheerio Badja. You know, the, he's so strong already at this point. I mean, Sovereignty and Reinforced Greaves, he's 4-0-10. Oh, he, he, so far for me, is the best performer on this team. Sausage? Uh, no, 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 Athena. Athena. A oh, Badger. Badger. Yeah, Badger. Yeah. He, he's, he's just been everywhere. 
obviously, you know, you, you wouldn't, it's not traditional to see four kills on support, but yeah. still looks really, really good. When it works, it works. And, you know, the old adage, Scott, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is definitely uh, working out this match around. Like I said, uh, you'd probably want to see more kills onto the. You'd probably want to see more kills onto the Shibalaki because of that passive, and you know Athena doesn't really need them. But when the lead is as strong as it is, 6,600 gold at 23 minutes in, along with 13,000 experience, oh. Scott. Who are we or anyone else to argue with how their kills are distributed? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Frosty now barely missing that one here. He's just gonna get out of harm's way. He would have locked him up with that snare. We could have seen some follow-up there from his team. They have the setups to do it. Uh, Q and Cataclysm is going to be up. Uh, really looking for Geb to kind of shift this one. Blink isn't up yet. He's only got Tier 1 to Blink at that. Eventually, he will go into Greater Blink, but he really needs to invest all his money into getting the Sovereignty online yes. next. Sovereignty will do a lot. It'll distribute protections to the teammates so they don't have to build them themselves as long as they stay central around that support. So it is an aura item. You have to be around there. But we're getting to the part of the game, Scott, where everybody's sort of around anyway. Um, grouped up team fights, really nothing outstanding yeah. there. Yeah, re really looking for the fire giant. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that's what it's all going to come down to. Uh, Fnag might be looking for a pick and vice versa. Stars might be looking for a pick. Cheerio goes in, Shablanke ultimate, we're watching it from Cheerio. Cheerio still on, Maniac Pinata comes out, and now Cheerio forced all the way out of this one. Driving Strike's gonna hit too, he dodges it as well. Crush isn't gonna hit, Badge is here for the peel. He's still alive, he's buying so much time for his team. And now Captain Twig comes in, slowly but surely Poseidon's gonna be rotating in. If they group up, this Kraken's gonna be big. He wants it, Zero comes in, and... There's Maniac. Yep. A <laughs> <laughs> little more aggression coming out from Captain Twig. He's going to get out of there. Sausage will barely miss with the tier ultimate. The rest of the team does still fight in the solo lane. Pushed up help. on the side of upcoming stars is half of the map. A lot of red there. Only a single blue player, and Hercules not going home. Yeah, no, no, no. Hercules actually full health yeah. after all of that. <laughs> so still looking, still keeping the pressure on him as well. Harpy's going to be taken out uh, 24 minutes. Maniac looking for it. He's got himself an on her. Hit the mitigate wounds. Geb Shield's going to cleanse that CC from him for a second. Maniac now just kind of buying time here. His badge is going to be here as well. And they see badge and they go, ah, oh, we don't like this. Taunt's going to hit. And now other side though. Captain Twig able to take out one. Maniac able to take out Irons. That's big. Zeros could be in some trouble here, but luckily for him, Captain Twig will be able to force Scylla out completely. Oh, Scylla uses the beads to stop. Absolutely nothing. Zeros gets the kill with the knockup of the tidal wave. Good Fire giant, whirlpool. Right? Another kill for Maniac. Maniac has been playing exactly Dude, as his name says. Yeah, he, he's it's, he's playing great. I mean, you, you know, what? it's actually very interesting as we see Fnatic come down to a fire giant, which is basically free. The only one available for the enemy team is Sir Ket, who uh, really doesn't have too much. Uh, you madness, it works out, but it's already too late. Um, Maniac is playing a more aggressive, damage-oriented Hercules than we're used to seeing. Oh, yeah. Well, that didn't work out for him. He yeah. completely missed. Dude, he's got 10k <laughs> more player damage than Shablanke at this point. Good. Usually Googly. we see Hercules played with such, in you know, Rune Forge Hammer first. That's one of Divios' yeah. favorite. You know, give me, the, give me the heavy hammer into Rune Forge Hammer and lots of protections and just really tanky. Maniac is going the other way. He has a Rune Forge Hammer and... That's it. He's built into a Titan's Bane at this point. Titan's Bane com combined with the penetration on that Jotun's Wrath is going to just make him chew through the enemies, especially you take a look. There's just not enough There's just not enough protections on the enemy wayside. You've got Rune Forge Hammer and Spear Robe on tier, and that's it. That's that good. Uh, they get a pick there on Irons. Uh, really, right now, upcoming stars has to hold. They have to almost turtle all the way back at their last Phoenix. They don't want to fight in between Phoenix and Tier 2 just in case they get picked. They're going to need a collective effort here to really withstand this. Mm -hmm. This is going to be tough, man. They can do it, though. They've looked good throughout this series. Badger now looking for it. There's the Juggle push, there's the Kraken. That's going to hit about three members from upcoming oh stars. One goes to the Hunter, one goes to the Jungler. Still three members alive for upcoming stars. Oh Will God. they be able to scratch that? That's a double kill for the Nemesis. Only two available. You've got the Serket. And as I said last wow. time, Serket wasn't able to defend the Fire Giant, Scott. Serket unable to defend the Titan. And this one goes down in spades 
on the side of Fnatic. They'll take down the Titan, and that's 2-0. and oh. Fnatic takes our European game. Man, I, I just looked down at the belt and realized that Hercules had a bulwark going yep. into that one again. So <laughs> uh, final slot for really Maniac both games is actually going to be the bulwark. Yeah, Bulwark has historically been very, very strong. Level 2 Bulwark, uh, particularly so a good. strong, strong item. And then once moved into the, the level 3, is very specific. On a lot of characters, once you're below 25%, you're kind of dead anyway. But on a Hercules, I think you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're okay <laughs> with that. You just press 3. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the first blood, see how this game shaped up here. We hop right into the replay. Yeah, so it started off with a good Shibalaki ultimate, just lining things up for the Poseidon. And this is exactly what we were talking about, just a single knock-up kill. We saw a lot of kills coming out like that from Zeros with that number one ability, Tidal yep. Wave, which is not usually the kill ability. Yep. Zella was able to hit some I Am A Monster, just wasn't able to deliver the killing blow, which is really... Hey, that's heartbreaking, that's right? What you want. It's always what you want, but it's always like yep. those moments where you're like, oh, man. <laughs> and casting, it's always like... Damn, he was you just... You snapped really loud. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got big hands. It's just like, man, that's, it, it's just heartbreaking. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the map control here and see how everything shook out between these two teams. As you can see, mid Harpy, 71% upcoming stars. did a little bit better this time around. Yeah. And they actually controlled 55% of the back. But again, they lose the Gold Fury. They only take one, and they didn't take a fire giant both games Fnatic only needed one fire giant to end yeah I mean th these games weren't separated by a lot Scott when the the separation was really about like six to eight thousand gold at the end of the game uh, before the you know we come in and we kill all your towers and phoenixes that's sort of like the snowball so before yeah. all of that what I'll call an artificial gold lead the lead of these games were about six to eight thousand gold a lot of that has to do with the 29% mid-camp secure on the side of upcoming stars. Just being able to control 71% of the mid-camps for Fnatic really allowed them to build up that gold in their coffers and allow them to have the lead that they got. Yeah, they also get to force the fights there as well, which is very, very good. But mm -hmm. anyways, we do have Mr. Maniac on the line with us. He's played one hell of a series so far. Yes, uh, Maniac, does. are you there, my friend? Yes. Hello, guys. Oh, how how are you? I'm fine. I'm great. We just won, so I guess I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maniac, let me let me ask you about your selection in the solo lane. It seems like you still are prioritizing warriors. Uh, is there any reason behind that? I mean, uh, on this meta, I think warriors are still pretty good. And uh, now we tend to play with uh, having a second uh, frontliner. So I'll try to, I'll try to fill that role of the, of the, as the second frontliner. So. It's been working pretty well so far. Cool. Now, do you see yourself eventually getting to the point where you're going to be playing like Sobex or you know any of the Zillia kind of gods in that lane? Have you been practicing that at all? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to uh, I try to play everything on Soul Lane, but uh, mostly now I think some gods are more more strong than uh, I mean stronger than others. So I tend to keep uh, on the warriors right now, even though I. I, I, I keep my eye on the assa assassins as well, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, the assassin stuff is what I'm interested to see. Talk to, talk to me about your, your Hercules play that last match. It was a completely aggressive. Did you just feel so good on tier in game one that you wanted to just hurt in game two? Or was there a calculated reason why you didn't go defensive on your solo lane, Hercules? I mean, I think Urk, when like your team is ahead in the early game, mid game, and you get some kills, I mean, you're pretty much unstoppable. Yeah. And I don't think they had weakening curse, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, I was pretty much, I could do anything I wanted, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Without counter heal, counter, counter my healing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you 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 didn't really have a problem throughout the entire game. I mean, you went eight zero and fourteen, dude. Like <laughs> you were shredding. <laughs> uh, why do you why do you like the bulwark so much in the sixth slot? Well, we don't see a lot of people build that. Uh, I mean, uh, I needed kind of ma uh, magical defense and. Um, Badger at the Heartward amulet. That's how it, how you call it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. pestilence wasn't kind of. I mean, I mean, I guess pestilence could go for tier or other god, but I mean, I, I don't think you'd be that much uh, better than uh, better than uh, Bullquark. So I just went for Bullquark. I think best option there. Cool. Now, for up and coming Hercules players, how how would you recommend that you can have a eight zero and fourteen performance <laughs> like you did? <laughs> how do, how do you go about having the securing the knockups? 
she should come. Doing the knockups. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that, that's a, that's, a, that's a hard question. I, I, I don't I don't really know to answer that. But I mean, I don't just practice a lot, play the god a lot, and eventually you'll be. I mean, get good at the god and good at the game, and we'll, won't miss any abilities. Even though I missed a lot in the end of that game, though. But hey, maybe. we only caught your. We only caught the good plays. All right, so yep. you're good. Yep. So you, you get to thank Adonis for that, but you you get to thank yourself for a full a full game, one two games, zero deaths. So good stuff yeah. coming out for you. Anything you want to say to the fans at home or anybody else? Uh, thanks everyone who supports us, and uh, thanks Fnatic of course, and uh, yeah, pretty much. And thanks to our sponsors, of course. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, Maniac. Well. Guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the EU standings here as oh, yeah. it is finally done. Week 4, SPL for Europe. This is how things are going to look going into week number 5. Trig Esports and Fnatic are tied at 3-1. and one. London Conspiracy and Titan and Dig. Three-way tie for third place here as well. Keep in mind, next week, Fnatic will be going up against London Conspiracy, mm -hmm. which is going to be a huge matchup. I believe Trick Esports also plays upcoming stars next yes. week as well. So, uh, really, the big matchup here is going to be Fnatic versus London Conspiracy. Yeah, and as we said earlier in the broadcast, upcoming stars out of contention for the LAN. They're here to play Dream Breaker, but... It's very unfortunate for them. This lineup where they brought Q in, in yeah. and I mean, the players have said just for what it's worth, uh, Fails has come out as, as well as some of the other players saying, hey, look, we did what we could. After this split, we're done. We're going to explore other options. So heartbreaking, man. But for right now, I really hope they bring it because this lineup that they had with Q in and Cheerio in the jungle, I'm not going to say it looked like a completely different team. I'm not going to embrace that much yeah. hyperbole, but they look good at a lot of points, and they, they could ruin the dreams of Trake. If they really bring it. They're that not going to go to land themselves, but they could stop Trig from doing it. And that's what I'm going to watch for. That would be, that would just be catastrophic. I think I might hear Zimstar crying from I'm, Sweden. I'm fully expecting a four-way tie Yeah. for a second. But anyways, <laughs> uh, coming up next, we do have North America. So we're going to hop to a quick break. When we come back, TSM will be taking on Cognitive Gaming.